Hi guys, welcome back again. I'm Dynamics Max, giving you all the updates and giving you all the information and small tips regarding the law, regarding some of the information that definitely we need to share for ourselves to improve ourselves every single day. Yes, most of us we came, or some people came on what we call a higher visa and they've enjoyed the country to the maximum. For those that have been able to enjoy the country, that's well and good. We've enjoyed the country and we had the maximum bit of it all, what we call tourism. Remember, as earlier we talked about the higher visa, the higher visa was not what you call unemployment visa or what you call a work visa. It was just a tourist visa. You come into the country, explore the country, and move out of the country. That was for only the cost. Yes, people are coming for the expo. For those that have been able to come in for the expo, yes, that is well and good. Uh, you've still also enjoyed what you call the country to its own way or to its own maximum. Yes, what is the latest information? We looked at these opportunities as we started talking about the opportunities for coming to the country without requiring very many uh, the associates of that time to come to the country. Yes, it's all about the higher card, the higher visa, the higher opportunities. Yes, it has been announced officially uh, on the Ministry of Interior website on the Ministry Twitter handle and the validity of the higher visa is February 24. What does it mean? It means that everyone who has who came into the country on higher visa should be able or should exit the country by February 2024. This is the latest information or the latest announcement that has been made. Yes, remember we had the Asian Cup final on 10. This was the last entry for those people that are wishing to come and visit Qatar on what you call a higher card or higher visa. So, what does it mean for anyone who goes beyond that period? Yes, if you go beyond that period, then definitely it means that you'll have to pay what you call an overstay, which is going to be 200 riyal per day. For those brothers and sisters who have not been able to get the opportunities, it has been so sad if you've not been able, able to get an employer or to get someone who's willing to bring you back on what you call a work visa. Yes, the situation in the country has not been very bad. When you look at, especially when we are looking at what you call the market, when we are looking at the market, the situation has not been very bad, not, not very good. Yes, a lot of people have been laid up. Some companies have been closed, especially those who are selling freelancer visa, which we are not loyal for. They've been closed. For. Many people are stranded out in those accommodations without work. Many people have been stranded with their employers. They cannot see their sponsors anymore. They give them the freelancer visas. Yes, and some people are not doing work in any way. So that's the case that is probably that is happening in the country. Yes, hope we are going to have the situation get back to normalize in any situation or in any way or in any case of that. So, definitely I just want to share with you that if you are a higher visa, you should be preparing yourself to go out of the country by 24. Otherwise, it, should, it will be with what you call the penalty of what you call 200 year per day, the day that you have to stay into the country. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. See you again when we get to the latest updates. Remember to make, by the way, if it's your first time to have across this channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. Don't forget to give me that like and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. I'll always give you the updates.